when I'm gone, just carry on, don't mourn, rejoice Every time you hear the sound of my voice, just know that I'm looking down on you smiling And I didn't feel a thing, so baby don't feel no pain, just smile back Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, today I'm going to be making this video to show you how to play XCX Menu on your JTAG <coughs> uh, without using a CD because a lot of my friends said you need a CD to put XCX Menu or Loader on your JTAG but you don't need to do that. So what I'm going to show you is how to put it on your JTAG through your hard drive. Okay, so I'm going to have two links in the description. One for XCX Loader and one for XCX Menu. Whichever one you choose, it doesn't matter. I prefer XCX Menu. Okay, so when you extract it, you get a folder like this. Okay, when you extract XCX Menu, you get a folder called Code 9999. So... What you do with this is now you open up. Uh, let's see. So now you want to open up Explore 360. I'll have a link for that too. Um. So basically, let me find it real quick. Okay, Explorer 360. So basically, let that load. My computer's really slow, so going to take a little bit to load up. But while that loads up, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get my hard drive. Okay, now that I have my hard drive plugged into my computer with a transfer cable. Yeah, y yes, you will need a transfer cable. <coughs> okay. So let's just click on drive. Open. Hard drive or memory card. And it should open whatever hard drive you have. Just wait a little bit. It takes, takes some time for me. I don't know about you, but it does. Okay, so you'll see three partitions. Zero, two, and three. So you want to open up three. Click on content. And you want to click on the zero, zero folder. Don't open it, just click on it, and then you'll see all these folders right here. So basically what you want to do, as you can see, code 99... <coughs> code 9999 is right there so basically you take the folder you just extracted which is right there and you drag it into here boom you're done you just put XCX menu on your JTAG with the transfer cable alright so now I'm gonna switch to my camera and uh, uh, let's see if it worked remember to comment rate, subscribe, and uh, I'll be making more tutorials soon. Even though this is a simple tutorial, it might help some of you out a lot. For some of you who already knew this, well, I guess you knew it already. Alright, well. Alright guys, now that we have put XCX menu in our JTAG, we are going to load it up to see if it works. And sorry for uh, this little stacky thing right there, but uh, just ignore it. Okay, so you can see this is me. Ninja comes, that's me. This isn't no other video, and this is my voice, obviously. But we're basically going to go to game library. 
an XCX menu is going to be in here as a game demo. So basically we just start it up, play a game, and then it should load. Now if you're like me and you put your games on your flash drive or an external hard drive, it'll be right down here. So as you can see, it's flashing so that means it's a uh, loading data. So all I do is go to games. Or if you have or if you plug in your flash drive and it's already uh, plugged in, it'll automatically just open up Mono for two. And basically you can just hit A. Or if you press the right bumper, it switches to USB or whatever external hard drive you have. And let's just click on games. Modern Warfare 2, or any game that you want. And uh, here we go. We just have all these things. And as you can see, XCX menu work just fine. Um, yeah, so basically you can just load up any game you want now, if you, as long as you as long as you already downloaded it. So that just took me here. All right, so you can just mess around. Uh, I hope this video helped you. It's kind of a simple little tutorial, but it's definitely one that will help people without uh, burning the disc or something else. Because I know a lot of my friends say that you need the disc for XX menu, but all you need is a transfer cable. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe, and uh, hope you like the tutorial.